Wow, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Taipans Fan TV. Look, that was a that was a nail biter. That was really a nail biter. That was a winnable game for either team. Um, I believe that we were down, I think, eight, nine points at the start of the fourth. Um, and we just crawled back bucket after bucket. Machado and Nubu just both did their thing, got into little isolation situations or coming off pick and rolls, and really just showing how talented they really are and you know, as you can see from the stats there, Machado ended up with 29 points, 4 assists, half than what he usually gets, but that's alright, he doubled what he usually scores, so, and Cameron Oliver there as well with the 8 rebounds. Um, and also, for the New Zealand Breakers, look, they played alright, but Scotty Hobson had about 10 turnovers that game, he also had 7 rebounds, 8 assists, and I think maybe 19, 18, 19 points. And then Rob Lowe having 24, just being around the bucket, finishing those easy ones, and making those shots from outside. Looking onto the team stats now, we shot pretty poor from deep. We shot very, very bad from deep, 19%. 46% from the field, we did get it done inside. We did lose the rebounding count again. Um, but as well, look, we had the 11 turnovers. They had the 18 turnovers, 10 of them from Scotty Hobson. Um, we had about 9 assists. Uh, it was a very much an isolation game for us. You know, We really put the ball in Machado and Nubel's hands and let them just create. Um, when it, when it came down to it, we got through it through our sets. And... If either one of them got the ball, we're making a play off of them. Um, and Oliver was just around making those outside. He didn't really make any outside shots. I think it was 0 for 7, maybe 1, 1 for 8. I'm not sure he didn't really make much. Um, as you can see, yeah, obviously we didn't shoot too bad um, from the rest of the field. But 3-point line was horrible. Um, he gave up another 15 offensive rebounds in the game, 43 to total. But look, like I said in the start, we crawled back. We crawled back. This was a winnable game for the Breakers. I wasn't predicting them to win, obviously not, but they come in, five-game win streak. Scotty Hobson's on a roll. What are we going to do? How are we going to respond? And just like that, we responded with tough defense. Um, offensively, we didn't really stroke it as well, but defensively, we absolutely killed it. So, look, we'll get into a few highlights now. Just going to kick things off here with Majuk Dang taking it straight down the middle. Nice little end one to open up the game. Nice strong finish from him. And here's DJ Nibble doing what he's been doing every single week. Putting people on posters. The next person is Vadonovic from the New Zealand Breakers. He's just got sneaky ups. He's been doing this like every week, I swear. Ever since Brisbane, he put Sobi on a poster. He's been doing it every single week. Machado here. Boo! Spin move. Nice. That's a crafty point guard. Coming off. Another pin down. Off to Jerick. Drives down. Bam! Another Cam Oliver jam. He does it every single week. And here we go. I don't know what it is about the Taipans at home, but DJ Nubel always finishes plays at halftime. Just like that. Machado found him. He finishes the layup at halftime. Start of the third here. He opens it up. That's a crafty point guard. That's a crafty point guard. This is the start of the fourth here. Tie game. We weren't down eight at the start. But bang, here we go. He gets an and one bucket. Three point play. It looked like it. We're down six. Five minutes to go. Oh, I don't know what Archie Hampton was thinking there, but that's a, that's an easy block for Cam Oliver. Of course he's got the ups to get up with him. Watch this, RJ thinks he's got him. Ah, get out of here. If you didn't know there was NBA execs in the building, watching RJ Hampton. Here we go, Scotty Hobson. I call him DeMar DeRozan sometimes because he just moves like him. And as you see there, strokes the three ball, not like DeMar DeRozan. Machado is coming down the lane here, splits the D. Oh. Hobson tries to block it. Too easy for our point guard. Too easy. Here we go again. Another isolation situation off the on ball. From NBA range. That's deep. Off the backboard, but, but we'll take it. But we'll take it. It'll cut it down to a two-point game. Here's Nubu. Looking to tie things up. Boof. Too strong. Easy finish. Easy finish. DJ Nubu. One of our best scorers. And here we go. Just to put ourselves up. Two on one situation, easy finish. Cam Oliver around the bucket. As you can see, we went up by four. They obviously missed the shots. This is us to ice out the game. Merko Jerk at the convention center. Beautiful stuff, go up by six. And obviously Jared Weeks misses that. But look, that was the end of... that. that as you can see, that was a pretty high intensity fourth quarter. Throughout the game, there was ups and downs. But look, we've got to give one person a standout player of the game. Obviously, it's Scott Machado. 29 points, 52% field goal percentage, 28% from the three, not too great. 
Came up with the extra seven rebounds and also four assists. It's come out now. He should be. The, he can be the MVP of the league if the Titans make the top four. You know, he's obviously made a massive difference to our club. He's changed the way we've wanted to play offense over the last ten years. I mean, we haven't really had a facilitating point guard like Scott Machado in the league. I heard last night over the commentary that he's it's, it, this season he's averaging eight point four or whatever it is. It's the highest it's ever been in the last 10 years. There's, no, there's never been another player that's averaged this many assists in the last 10 years, you know what I mean, in the NBL. So Scott Machado is absolutely thriving in this role um, with the guys around him like Newbill and Oliver when Kawhi Noy comes back, Jerry, Dang, and then there's time for him, you know. It, it, it's awesome to see he's a standout player of the game. He'll be the standout player of the season for me um, if we continue on to make the finals. Even if we make the grand final, we can go... I, I, we can go all the way. We can go all the way, I believe, from here. But we look, we'll get on to the next game now against the Sydney Kings in Sydney on Saturday. Quick turnaround. We're going to go to day's break, go back down to Sydney, play at 4.30 in the afternoon game. We'll see how we go. I mean, last time we went down to Sydney, we really stood up, really showed our stuff from our backcourt guys again, um, Machado and Nubil. Um, other guys stepped up, but look, I'll talk about my predictions with an upcoming video, hopefully drop later this afternoon, maybe tomorrow morning, just before the game. So look, always remember guys, go the Mighty Taipans, we're going, we're, go, we're rolling, we're third on the ladder at the moment, tied it with Melbourne, if Melbourne lose, hopefully they do, if not, we'll stay tied for third. But this game against the Sydney Kings, big statement game, because we go on the road, face another challenge, and hopefully we come out victorious again. So look guys, we'll stick around for that. Hopefully be out tomorrow. But always remember guys, go the mighty type hands.